How you doing today? You're the old at work Bill Sapiri. Freaking right it is. Well boys, just finished doing a uh, forklift I did. And we put some flat glass in the old forklift. I cut her up and do that and this and that and the other thing and slapped her on in the holes and they seemed pretty happy they did. Freaking right they did. Why wouldn't they be though, eh? Pulled her out Friday, come back Tuesday and put her in, boys. Decent. But she's hot today, boys. She is, eh? She's a muggy, muggy, muggy today. Stand outside for two minutes and you are sweating, you are. Pretty great, right, you are. But, uh, not too sure what the agenda is today. Did one job and I'm going back to the shop now I am. See what else is going on. See if I can't help out there, eh? Help them out, do this, that, the other thing. Had a nice time at the bridge, me and Melanie and Mum did. Freaking right we did. She was a beauty night, boys. Didn't do too much of anything. Scrappy had a good time, he did. Scrappy loves going to the bridge, eh? Okay? He loves going to the bridge, go for a little walkabout, he does. It's only a four day week, boys. Girls, peoples? Four day week. How decent is that? <sighs> Don't forget, boys and girls, if you need any auto glass on the road at your place, working on something and you can't move her, the old gold glass and accessories a call. Freaking right, you should. 519 344. Something, 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 eh? Come on, boys, you can't remember the number yet. I haven't been there long enough. 344 5444, boys. Oh, how you doing, hey? How you doing, bud? Little old PP back there looking to get somebody, he is. Don't get the old Bill in the old gold glass van because I don't speed. Frick, no, I don't. Thank God this old girl has air conditioning, I'll tell you that. She cools me down and dries me out, boys. Hey, I got into the van and I was all sweaty, I was. Mm. Gotta wait a few minutes just to start recording, I did. Wet and uncomfortable. Hopefully when I get back to the old Chopperuski, there's another road job for me to do. Maybe at one of the body shops or something, eh? The old body shop, boys. Gotta change out the speakers in the van, too. I got a one speaker in the, the driver's door here that's acting up. My tunes are top notch, eh? Should take the stir out of the old van of Ruski and put it in the old work Ruski van, eh? That'd be freaking cool. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and like, eh? And hit that notification bell bar button. And uh, share them, boys. Hey, do me a favor and share them. Why wouldn't you? Check out the old Bilsif gear, too. I need to sell a mug this week, boys. That's my goal, eh? One Bilsif coffee mug, boys. Get over there and get yourself a coffee mug. Why wouldn't you? I got a few different sands on there and this and that and the other thing. I got another little review video coming up. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I got one coming that I can do a review on, I do. I haven't been out to pugs in a long time, I haven't, okay? And it's not because I don't, I have any hard feelings for the guy or nothing. I, I, I have no problems with pugs at all. Something was said that hurt my feelings and I might have done something that hurt his feelings, but in all honesty, it was all for the greater good. It was. I was trying to get somebody off his butt, so I might have been talking to somebody he doesn't like, but it wasn't intentionally... I get along with everybody. I get along with everybody. You know what I mean? Like, and if somebody's got a problem with me, I normally straighten it out, boys. I really do. But, uh, didn't like the idea I was talking to this one person, and, uh, really started to hate me, I think, which I really apologize, but, uh, I'm just trying to get him off his ass, boys. Okay? Let's move on. He does better videos when he's not talking about Pug, so you gotta get him off his butt. Freaking right we do. You know who you are, eh, Abe? Hey? Your videos are much better, bud. When you're not talking about Pug. Big time, eh? So, you know, try to ease off the guy a little. Why wouldn't you? Forget about him. Move on, brother. Hey, freaking right. But, uh, if there's hard feelings there, there's hard feelings there. I can't do nothing about it. Didn't mean for any hard feelings to be done. I know I was supposed to throw a windshield in this, uh, truck. But, uh, switch jobs, boys. He got procrastinated a little bit. I will admit I procrastinated a little bit. But I always tried to help him out when I could. I did. Freaking right I did. It went on a little too long, I guess, and he got a little upset with me about it. And I can understand it, so I apologize. But uh, it wasn't intentional. And something was said that upset me, so I just kind of forgot about it. And uh, that's how she goes, boys. Still like pugs, no problems with them. Still love Tiff. She's, she's always been great to me. She's a good person, she is. So hopefully this will all wash out down the road and we'll get talking again, eh? We'll just have to see what happens, boys. But I'm not going to lose any sleep over it, that's for sure. That's for sure. So just in case everybody was wondering what was going on there, that's what happened there, eh? Nothing, no big deal, just guess we needed a break from each other, we did, eh? Freaking break we did. I'm here when you want to text me, bud. Anytime you want to text me and talk, we'll talk. Freaking break. 
But uh, if not, then it is what it is. Right? So enough of that, hey? Eh? Enough of that, boys. Cruising down the old Churchill side road, I am. Why wouldn't I be? Hey? Eh? Why the hell wouldn't I be? Oh, boys, I need a cigarette, but I can't smoke in the van. I need a cigarette, boys. Oh, well, we haven't got far to go, and then we can slap one back. We can. Maybe there's a coffee at the back of the shop. Hey, Steve, did you pick up coffee today, bud? She's coffee time, she is. She's down your lunch time, she is. Holy. Hopefully, maybe when I see Gallon at the old tractor pull, the old tractor pullage, boys, uh, he'll bring back my alternator for me. That'd be decent. He got me a warranty on the old Mac Man alternator, boys. Girls, peoples. So we'll have to see how that goes. It did cost me more money, but they knew who I was, according to Gatlin. Hey, Mac Man knew exactly whose alternator it was, so that was awful nice of them to do for me. But it still cost me more money. Okay, so now I got $1,500 into a Mac Man alternator, boys. Okay, I think I've got the most money in one alternator that anybody's ever had in Canada. I bet you I do. Freaking right, I do. I'm going to double check, and Gatlin's going to help me hook this one up, and uh, we're going to make sure it's right before it blows up again, because they said no warranty now. So I guess uh, we'll have to see how it goes, Mac Man. Okay? Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll take some words back if she works mint. Maybe I just got a defective one, and because I'm in Canada, it's just too much of a pain in the arse. And I didn't know Gatlin dealt with you. So if I knew that in the first place, I would have took your damn and said, Hey, bud, send this back for me, would you? She would have been mint. But I didn't know that. He didn't contact me and say, hey, Bill, see your buddies with Gatlin, Carphonics, Carphoenix, Carphonics. Take her back there and we'll uh, get her fixed up, boys. She didn't have to. She didn't. Why <sighs> would it? Why the hell would it? Looks like it might rain, boys. Freak sakes. Hey, Bond. How you doing, bud? Need a windshield? Call Gold Blast. Why wouldn't you? Need some aftermarket accessories? Call Gold Blast. Why wouldn't you? Need some husky floor mats or weather techs? Call Gold Glass. Why wouldn't you? Mm. Need a tunnel cover for your new truck? Call Gold Glass. Why the hell wouldn't you? Need some rims? Call Gold Glass. Anyways, boys, hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am. I'm having a decent day, I am. This was just a little drive back to the old Chopperuski. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, and you know what to do for now. <laughs>